And just like that, out of nowhere, Zack Snyder has revealed new insight and details on a prequel Wonder Woman story that he was working on prior to Patty Jenkins taking over the project. Obviously, we're never going to see this, but now we know the general idea. So in case you guys didn't know, this was an idea that Zack Snyder was running with in terms of a prequel based on Wonder Woman's, well, involvement with history. And right here is a image that they had that was going to explain what she was involved with prior to even World War I or the Great War. So this is set in 1854. And it was supposed to be Diana who was chased by Ares across a giant battlefield and this world where she had yet to encounter somebody like Steve. And this was supposed to be the whole story of her helping humanity, being involved with different wars, having her presence be known, and various other factors. He reveals that here on the battlefield is when she realized and was outed as, well, a immortal almost, and that they essentially accepted her because of what she was doing and how she was eventually going to meet Steve in Crimea. And essentially, they were showing her standing with different warriors from across the world before she leaves and then fades to history for a while. And he revealed that they never got to the point where there was a full screenplay, but this was the general idea for Wonder Woman's debut. But then, again, Patty Jenkins came on board. She started to develop a completely different project set around the Great War. And then it went in a completely different way. Obviously, they kept many elements, such as Steve. They obviously kept Ares. They kept the element of a war, just not the one that's depicted here and what was going on. And honestly, I don't know how this would have played out because a lot of people love the first Wonder Woman as it is. So maybe it's the best case scenario we got the film we did, or maybe this would have been far better. I don't know. I don't know enough to say because all we got is this one image and this new info. But overall, yeah, it seems to have been just more or less sort of the same film, just different time period and setting. 